What's going on, everybody, and welcome back to another episode of Portal Knights Community Builds. We're going into another, another amazing build. Uh, we've got a few here. We got the seven secret shrines, which we're probably going to check out in the next episode or the one after that. Uh, we have. I think this is the one we did. This is the one that I showed at the end of the last episode. Uh, I mentioned their name in there. I can't remember who it is now. If it is yours, mad respect to you. Um, oh, double XP. Well, what happens when you're already full? You need to go to level 50 for XP. Come on, people. Okay, so this is one of the ones that we went into before. Um... It's an Asian builder, and I, I'm sorry, but I don't speak any Asian, so I have no idea what the uh, title is. Uh, so we'll have to go somewhere to get in. Can I go here? Nope. It'd be nice if um, you're letting people explore your build that you would uh, give them a way to go somewhere. Uh, because there's a couple, maybe I can go this way here. Okay, so they got their own little custom, custom portal that they made out of the, uh, refined obsidian. Nah, I can't remember the red glowing block name, but they got those, which is nice. Okay, and this is sort of reminiscent of one of the builds that you see that is already in the game. Um, where you have to come in and you have to repair these people's building and uh, kill certain things in the garden and that kind of stuff. I know my little my little dragon dinosaur dude is pretty peeved off. Now I went in here last time not not knowing exactly what we were getting into. I believe there might be a way. That we can go through. Nope, they got a bed in here, which is nice. You know what I should do? There, we got a little bit more light going in there. Okay, a little bit of hay kicking around. So, like, a few prison cells or whatever you want to call it. Because they got the little hay bed in there. Nothing in there. And nothing else around there. So, I'll head up inside. And again, I'm doing this just because th this game and the builders in it need mad respect right they do a lot of great work um if this is where okay see they've changed it a little bit but this is already one of the builds hey, and you go down here and this is where you go fight the spiders they've done nothing different uh okay hang on maybe they have Nope, because this is where you go fight the, uh, well, I don't know, whatever it is. It's the little curse or whatever. So this isn't even a build. So whoever built this, way to uh, copy something that was already in the game and claim it as your own. They changed a few of the colors around, I believe. But other than that, uh, this is like a, a reclaimed build. Yeah. This is, uh, this is not what this is about. That's horrible. You know what? You get an F in my books, whoever did this. Let's get out of here because this is one of those, um, I can't remember. You go in there and you get the fireworks. You have to go talk to the guy to be able to go through and do the uh, some of the Asian quests that are in there. And you can fix the guy's building and all that kind of stuff. So I'm sorry about that. So let's see. We have, we already did that. We did, I don't think we did this. I don't think, I uh, don't know if that's the zoo. No, I don't think that is. So that, cause that's the zoo. That's the one by Holly. So let's go in here and we'll check out this. Cause the seven secret shrine seems like a really awesome build. And uh, I got to go into a little bit more detail about that. So we'll go in and we'll check this one out. And then that'll be the episode there. I apologize for the early part. Uh, I honestly didn't think somebody would take a build that was already existing in the game and rehash it as their own by changing out a few blocks or a few colors here and there. And I think this is the same person too. So yeah, you can see it. They've done something similar here, uh, changing out the colors and everything like that, but they've, they've actually done a really nice job. There we go. 
Wow. Okay, now we're getting into the real deal here. Beautifully done. Look at that. Look at that clock tower. I really wish I was in uh, creative. This is amazing. Look at all of this. And the details on the builds. Beautifully done. You know how you got the shields and the little statue hidden up in there. Little uh, gateway going not anywhere, but you know, to the next island or village. It looks like we got a few shops down below. Okay, a couple of little uh, towers here, or fire towers. This thing looks freaking phenomenal. Unbelievable. Like, check that out right there. Holy smokes. Wow. And there is a way to go down from there, so we can get there. But look at this. Unbelievable. Wow. And this is what I'm talking about, folks. This is why this game and the people in it are, uh, are like amazing, amazing. I People say, like, you're a good builder, too. Yeah, I'm not going to discount my skills, but no way, shape, or form am I anywhere near patient enough to do anything like this. I know this is done in creative, or even if it was done in survival, I just don't have the patience to do that. So let's head down this way here. Nice little spiral staircase all the way down. Um, I really wish... Well, it might not be a daylight issue. It might just be that we're underneath things. Let's see what else we got. Okay, a couple little statues hanging around there. This little garden area. Sorry, that's my kitty cat me. I went away there. Okay, let's see. We got what? Oh, we got a little puppy. We got some shops kicking around here, which nicely done. I like the uh, mixture of the red and the green, or sorry, the white and the green and the white and the blue. Oh, I can't even talk to you. You look so like you're so frightened or crazy. Uh, time to go. <laughs> nice. Ah, we're here. Let's check it out. Okay, I don't know what we got there. Nope, no idea. Wow, the detail on this. Oh, wow. Holy smokes. Different hallways going different places. Oh, wait. Got like a hi hey, kitty, like a center court and whatnot. Nice little puppy. Birds, big old dining room. I like the shields. That's always a nice touch. Yeah, the, the attention to detail after the fact. Like, building this is one thing, but then going through and doing all the decoration? That, to me, is what takes, like, pure patience. Because they got a couple bedrooms. Oh, and they even have, uh... Okay, I thought it was a picture of a bed. I'm like, wow, they even got pictures of a bed. Damn. So this is sort of like, uh... Each little, uh... Like an inn... Uh, different little room that's available for people that are, you know, waiting around to go out killing on quests and whatnot. Cool. Okay, what do we got on the other side? Oh, I'm stuck on a lamp. Oh, uh, there we go. Okay. Okay, we go out here. We've already been up the top. Whoa, what's out here? Okay, just a simple little room. Didn't bother decorating that. Might be, maybe we'll call it for storage. Why not? Why not? Okay, so we head back out here. And what do we got in here? Just a, a tiny little guard room. Uh, okay, so we're just like sneaking around. Maybe a potential secret passage. Or just a side entrance. 
Nice. Okay, so we checked out in that area there. Oops, right up in there. That's where the uh, little guest room in type of deal was. Okay, quit freaking out, dude. We'll go sleep somewhere. Jeez. It's nice to check it out at night. I love the the look of that tree with the glow on, on the bottom with those um, blue stones. That's awesome. Especially at night. And again, how you can do little tip tricks like this here with the... Uh, you know, creative blocks. That's awesome. Very nicely done. So we're at the gateway, and I think this just kind of goes to nothing. Yeah, we could jump underneath, but we'll we'll take the proper way to to do that. Okay, so we got ourselves a nice little uh, shop area, I believe, or maybe a house. Okay, like uh, another little dining hall. Same thing in here, over in the other room, like a pub. Oh, yeah, it's a bar. Hey, what's up, buddy? Give me a beer. Give me a beer. And then we got the tiny little portal up there. That's awesome. Loving it. Loving it. Like I said, it's the attention to the little details. Little fireplace in there. Beautifully done. Okay, we're up on a second level now. Uh, does this... Okay, now that was up the top of the other side. Uh, little flags flapping in the wind. Okay, what do we got in here? Little area there. Little storage area or whatnot. And what do we got? Okay. So let's say we're back out to the same area, but we are not. We're in another completely different area. Oh, it's a Christmas shop. Look, we got Santa Claus and gifts and wow, every time of the year is all there. Okay, so if we go up on the top here. I mean, we're not even in that building. <laughs> oh, man. This is phenomenal. Okay, so this is where we came in. All right, cool. So we're in there. I kind of want to go up in this clock tower a little more. Uh, if it's possible. I'm not sure how high up we can go, but I know there are stairs in here. So let's see what we can do here. Okay, that's as far as we can go. Ah, oh, that's too bad. I was kind of hoping we'd be able to go up and see the, the hands of the clock or something like that. Because it seems like it goes up quite a ways and... Maybe we can go another way. I don't know. Oh, we got another room over here. But, yeah, it's, I think that's it for that. So the whole top part is blocked off. Uh, up in this area. A little dining area. A oh, cute little puppy bed. How they did that in there. Nice. Look at this room. Very cool. Uh, I don't care about the chalkboard, but I mean, you got like a relatively serious room, you know, with the workbench and the little egg and all the books and that. And the last thing you need is to have the chalkboard with the tongue out. But that's just me being picky. I'm not knocking the guy's build by any means. Uh, see, OK, we're up on the top level of this. Uh, no rhyme or reason to be up here or is there? No, not really. Okay, so we're kind of just hanging out here. Oof. All right, what else? Uh, can we go in any of these side areas? We can. Good. Okay. Now we're getting into something amazing, hopefully. Yep, we're on top of the... Uh, Oh no, we're on the wrong part. We're not even on the right side of the damn, damn um, island. I thought we were in there. It's still very cool. I like it, I like it, I like it. I think what we'll do, we'll take a shortcut across. If we can. Beautifully done for the hallway. I mean, look at that. Just with the lighting and uh, torches and everything like that. Beautifully done. 
All right, what else? We got we got that little area there. We'll head across here on the roof. Just because we can. Hooah! Oh, I missed. Okay, so we didn't make it. <laughs> Sorry, dinosaur, we got to take the long way. We got to go across the ground. All right, we'll head over to the far side over here where uh, we can check out the big tower. Like, even uh, the details on the bottom of this. Very nicely done. I'm glad we're here at night to check this out because I don't think it would look anywhere near as awesome. And even with the uh, the extra big sh chandelier, how you have five chandeliers and then you got the, uh, you know, the one on the bottom there. Very cool. I love that effect. I don't even know if that's possible in vanilla, but definitely worth checking into for sure because that does look cool, especially for like a great hall or something like that cool with the little purple light in here I don't know where I put it you can see there's a purple glow right there yeah that little tiny light just provides that nice little bit of glow now a little bit of ambiance very awesome let's go check out this amazing super huge build with the uh, big uh, jade dragon or whatever it is up there very cool. And this is the Great Hall. This is where you're going to come in and see King Chills just hanging out right at the end there, waiting for people to come in so he can bestow his wisdom upon them. And if they don't do his bidding or please him, he shall kill them. <laughs> cool. Can I sit down? Nice. And there's King Chills. Uh, dinosaur, can you please get your little sack out of my face? Oh, wow, dude. This is rude. I'm the king here, dang it. <laughs> nice. Okay. Let's get down and we'll just check out here. Again, very nicely done. The attention to detail, the use of all the different kinds of blocks. You know, like in all the different areas, and they're not just sticking to sort of you know, one type of torch or one type of anything. It's they're mixing it up so that it sort of creates this uh ambiance. LT Ladanian Tomlinson was a pretty good football player. All right, let's see. Nice little like dining area again. Even the use of the boxes to uh, create a wall and a big giant fireplace. With purple glowing blocks in there. Very, very, very nicely done. Okay, we only got about a minute and a half, two minutes left. Let's see, what can we get in here? There has to be a way to get further up. Okay, we're in a different area. <laughs> uh, okay, see, wow, this is like the Chamber of Councils where you have uh, everybody judging you from one side to the other. Nope, nothing there. Let's take you anywhere. Nope. Okay. Down we go. Uh, what about over here? Nope. Nothing. So even mixing in the grass blocks. Very cool idea. Okay, let's get out of here. Okay, back into the Great Hall. Very, very, very cool. Oh, nice. This is the High Priestess's, High Priestess's Bar. <laughs> very cool. Love it. I love it, I love it, I love it. I don't even know if we could even hit everything in this. Oh, here we go. Oh, okay. A little bit of a different view. Let's go up top here. Very cool. Nice. I like it. I like it. Oh, like a quadruple queen size bed. <laughs> you know they're the richest of the rich when they got that big of a bed. Okay. Let's get down here. Oof. Ah! 
I got hurt in your store. I'm gonna sue. Uh, is there any way that we could get through? What the hell was that? Oh, it's the dragon um, from the first, second, the second, uh, second boss. Okay, can we go anywhere else? No. Got presents and pumpkins hanging around there. We got to go up there. Uh, nothing else over there. Okay, what do we got on the other side? All right, we're getting, we got to wrap up soon. So let's see if we can, how do we get? anywhere else like higher up because this thing is massive i don't think we're going to be able to find anything we already in there we already went out here right this took us outside and you can just see like how big this thing is like way up there and i don't even know if you're able to even get any higher up than we were I don't personally think you are, but we couldn't have been any higher than maybe the second level, like there and then up to there. And I think that would have been it. Yeah, cause I don't remember seeing any other stairways anywhere. No other rooms taking me anywhere. Even this, look at this. The detail. Freaking phenomenal. Um, I am going to try to provide a link down below so that you guys can uh, check this out. So I'll link to the Steam Community Hub uh, and I'll put a person's name down there as well. Because, um, oh crap, I'm not going to be able to subscribe you to the person or anything like that. So it'll be a link to the Steam Community Hub and then you can search that person's name and uh, look up the goodies there for yourself. How do you... I don't think you do. Okay, yeah, you can get over here. I just sort of see you. Yeah, it's all hollow up here. But holy crap, dude. That's a dang good job. I gotta give you... A, oh, I'd probably go as high as a 8, eight or a 9 out of 10 on this. Holy smoke roonies Uh, I don't even know how the hell to get out of here. There we go. Let's go outside. We'll take one last look at all the goodies from a daylight perspective because we've been here for, for over 20 minutes. Just kind of hanging out and show you some of the goodness that's around here, like the archways leading into this fully amazing, huge building. Uh, which you can see probably from that archway there up hollow on the inside but still the the amount of detail that went into this is just unbelievable and you can even see all the way across to there coming back into here when we go on the other side and we got inside here i know i'm taking a weird way to go through but i want to get here as quick as i can dang it I was hoping I could jump over that, but... All right, and then we got the underneath. With the lead up to that. That is phenomenal. Unbelievable build. Uh, the next one that we're going to be taking a look at, the Seven Shrines or whatever, it actually, I believe, is somewhat playable. Uh, which is why I'm really curious about that. Uh, we'll head back up to the top where we started. We'll take a little panoramic view of everything that was in this entire build as much as we could um again kudos to whoever is playing this game and able to build this way and do all these amazing things uh i i appreciate your talent and uh may go unnoticed but i want to uh just kind of keep showing people what capabilities are available with this game and what you can actually do here let me get the torch out of my hands so we get rid of the noise you can just see the detail on these things here and like moving throughout the clock tower uh the big giant archways that we have over here even with the little uh building at the uh, halfway point there's just great little bit of detail like it even seems like they got some plant growth or whatever sprawling over top of the uh top third of that build there and uh wow that's all i gotta say 
So again, everybody, thank you so much for the love and support on this. We are going to get back into the building and everything else in a little bit, but I do want to pay my respects to all the amazing builders and all the amazing players that are playing this game and watching this series. Thank you so much for the love and support. Be sure to go check out the link down below and uh, check out this person's builds because they um, they have quite a few different things that are available, but... You could just see and imagine how many hours of work went into building this whole entire thing. So again, thank you everybody for watching. I really hope you enjoyed this and uh, this sort of little bit of idea of, uh, you know, how things kind of look around here. And uh, how much work goes into some of these builds because to me, I got to get this damn grass out of my face. <laughs> there we go. There we go. Turn around perfect yeah and i just i gotta say like i i just don't have the patience to do this uh, or time even and uh i really appreciate when people put in an effort like this so please give this guy some love this girl this person some love and uh same with me and then i'll see you guys in the next one take care